Hello and welcome. So here I am today at the University of Kent and I volunteer to take part in a cycling study into the effects of tramadol, basically to, de to determine if it is a performance enhancing drug or not. So um, the study is in three parts. The first visit I'm doing a VO2 max test, which is today. And then the two subsequent visits, I do a 25 mile time trial, best effort, and I'm either taking a placebo or the tramadol. I don't know which um, at the time. It's a blind study or blind trial, if you like. So today's visit is the VO2 max test, which is just a baseline test. There's no drugs involved with this one or placebos. So what I'll be doing is riding on a bike in the lab um, and the power will be gradually increased on a predetermined ramp until I can't pedal anymore, basically, until I expire. So it's pretty much grinding up the infinite hill of doom until I either turn into a pile of dust or explode. Not really sure which one I'm going to do yet, so let's crack on with it and see what happens. So here we go, I'm off on the warm up, which was 100 watts for 10 minutes. Fully masked up as you can see, so you can measure the, the gases I'm breathing out. A um, couple of things to note, as you see I'm on rim brakes, is the great rim brake v disc brake argument and in this instance I've opted for rim brakes as I think there'll be uh, a performance advantage there. Joking, of course. Um, as you can see Chris and Sam the research students are in full Covid PPE as this was done during lockdown two in the UK um, but the study was given the go ahead due to the uh, precautionary measures that they're taking. During the test I'll be asked to give a number as you can see from the chart as to my um, perceived exertion uh, graded between 6 and 20. So off we go on the test proper, we'll start at 150 watts and the power increases by 30 watts per minute or 1 watt every 2 seconds until I can't go anymore. So just easing into it now. So I'll be going for about 5 minutes here, um, it's about 300 watts. I think I said my RPE there was 14 and a half, as you can see. It looks like I'm putting a bit of effort in, but fairly under control. Here we go, the next step, this is seven minutes in, about 360 watts. Um, yeah, my RPE 15 and a half, still not looking too bad at this point. About 390 watts. Again, on the scale of doom, I think I was somewhere around 16, I can't remember what I said here. It's starting to hurt a bit now. So, just over 400 watts now, and you can see I'm starting to rock and roll a lot more. I've um, got tension in the arms. It's getting starting to really, really hurt now. Yeah, it's starting to bite. Um, I'm starting to breathe really heavily, you can see I'm sort of shrugging with my shoulders, trying to breathe out the every, every orifice in my body. Um, yeah, so cool mate predicted that I do um, about 400 watts, so I'm well over that now, well happy with that. I think this must be around 420 watts, and it's just getting harder and harder and harder now. As you can see, I'm rocking around from side to side, um, probably closing my eyes there at the moment as well, trying to blank out the pain and keep going. The cadence has dropped once already, but I've managed to get back on top of it, but I know the end is near, so it's just one big effort now. I'm getting desperate here, really am breathing through every orifice in my body now. Ears, eyes, arse, anything. Oh, here we go. Head roll's coming up, I think. The end's getting really near now. And the lactate accumulation has gone parabolic, so everything is screaming. <laughs> so I get more and more exhausted, the power just keeps climbing, and I think if I was riding on a road by now, I would have fallen off the bike. Anything that's keeping me upright is the fact that the bike is clamped. To a trainer. Yeah, the cadence is starting to drop, the head's really starting to roll, tensing in the shoulders. That's it. Come on, just came over in a minute. Come on. Come on. 
come on, one last effort, that's it, end of. So I didn't explode and I didn't crumble, I just kind of expired with a puff and a puff. And I think I did 461 watt peak power, um, 170 beats a minute heart, max heart rate. You know, I'm just trying to remember who I am, where I am, and what I'm doing, and why did I sign up for this? So I've not got the official results yet, but I can add them to the description if people are interested. Let me know in the comments below. Um, that was 461 watts for an indicator beam. Thanks so much for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, I shall be doing uh, the follow-up videos for the two time trials. So if you want to see those, make sure you um, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. And you'll get notified when I post the videos up. So until then, cheerio, and hopefully I'll see you in the lab soon. Well, that was fun.